Verrier Elwin, the 29th of August 1902 to the 22nd of February 1964, was a British self-trained anthropologist, ethnologist and tribal activist who began his career in India as a Christian missionary. He was a controversial figure who first abandoned the clergy to work with Mohandas Gandhi and the Indian National Congress, then converted to Hinduism in 1935 after staying in a Gandhian ashram and split with the nationalists over what he felt was an overhasty process of transformation and assimilation for the tribals. Elwin is best known for his early work with the Baigas and Gonds of Orissa and Madhya Pradesh in central India, and he married a member of one of the communities he studied there. He later also worked on the tribals of several northeast Indian states especially Northeast Frontier Agency NIFA and settled in Shillong, the hill capital of Meghalaya. In time he became an authority on Indian tribal lifestyle and culture, particularly on the Gandhi people. He served as the deputy director of the Anthropological Survey of India upon its formation in 1945. Post-independence he took up Indian citizenship. Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru appointed him as an advisor on tribal affairs for northeastern India, and later he was anthropological advisor to the government of Nifa now Arunachal Pradesh. His autobiography, The Tribal World of Verrier Elwin won him the 1965 Sahitya Akademi Award in English Language, given by the Sahitya Akademi, India's National Academy of Letters. Early life and education Harry Verrier Hallman Elwin was born on 29 August 1902 in Dover, the son of Edmund Henry Elwin, Bishop of Sierra Leone. He was educated at Dean Close School and Merton College, Oxford, where he received his degrees of BA First Class in English Language and Literature, MA, and DSC. He also remained the president of Oxford Intercollegiate Christian Union in 1925. <laughs> career In 1926 he was appointed vice-principal of Wycliffe Hall, Oxford and in the following year he became a lecturer at Merton College, Oxford. He went to India in 1927 as a missionary. He first joined Christian Service Society in Pune. The first time he visited the central India, now the states of Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, and parts of eastern Maharashtra, was with an Indian from Pune, Shamrao Hevail. Their studies are on the tribes are some of the earliest anthropological studies in the country. Over the years he was influenced by the philosophies of Mahatma Gandhi and Rabindranath Tagore. He participated in the Indian independence movement and in 1930 Gandhi said he regarded Elwin as a son. He came out with numerous works on various tribal groups in India, the best acclaimed being those on Maria and Baigas. After India attained independence in 1947 he was asked by Nehru to find solutions to the problems that emerged among the tribal peoples living in the far northeastern corner of India, the North East Frontier Agency NIFA. He was also a fellow of the Indian National Science Academy. The historian Ramachandra Guha's biography Savaging the Civilized, Verrier Elwin, His Tribals, and India 1999 brought renewed attention in India to Elwin's life and career. <laughs> On Godel Verrier Elwin wrote The message of the Godel, that youth must be served, that freedom and happiness are more to be treasured than any material gain, that friendliness and sympathy, hospitality and unity are of the first importance, and above all that human love, and its physical expression, is beautiful, clean and precious, is typically Indian. <laughs> Personal life Elwin married a Raj Gond tribal girl called Kosi who was a student at his school at Raithwar in Dindori district in Madhya Pradesh on 4 April 1940. They had one son, Jawaharlal Kumar, born in 1941. Elwin had an ex-party divorce in 1949, at the Calcutta High Court, writing in his autobiography, I cannot even now look back on this period of my life without a deep sense of pain and failure. In 2006 Kosi was still living in a hut in Raithwar, their son Kumar having died. Elwin remarried a woman called Lila, belonging to the Pardangan tribe in nearby Patangar, moving with her to Shillong in the early 1950s. They had three sons, Wasant, Nikul and Ashok. 
Elwin died in Delhi on the 22nd of February 1964 after a heart attack. His widow Lila died in Mumbai in 2013, aged about 80, shortly after the demise of their eldest son, Wasant. Topic works The Dawn of Indian Freedom, with Jack Copley Winslow. G. Allen and Onwin, 1931. Gandhi, The Dawn of Indian Freedom, with John Copley Winslow. Fleming H. Ray Vale Company, 1934. Truth About India, Can We Get It? G. Allen and Onwin, 1932. Mahatma Gandhi, Sketches in Pen, Pencil and Brush, with Kanu Desai. Golden Vista Press, 1932. Songs of the Forest, The Folk Poetry of the Gons, with Shamrao Hevale. London, G. Allen and Onwin, 1935. The Agaria. H. Milford, Oxford University Press, 1942. The Aboriginals. H. Milford, Oxford University Press, 1944. Folk Songs of the Maple Hills, with Shamrao Hevale. H. Milford, Oxford University Press, 1944. Folk Songs of Chhattisgarh. G. Cumberledge, Oxford University Press, 1946. The Maria and their Godel. Oxford University Press, 1947. Myths of Middle India, Indian Branch, Oxford University Press, 1949. Bondo Highlander. Oxford University Press, 1950. Maria Murder and Suicide, Oxford University Press, 1950. The Tribal Art of Middle India, A Personal Record. Indian Branch, Oxford University Press, 1951. Tribal Myths of Orissa. Indian Branch, Oxford University Press, 1954. The Religion of an Indian Tribe. Oxford University Press, 1955. Myths of the Northeast Frontier of India, Volume 1. Northeast Frontier Agency, 1958. India's Northeast Frontier in the 19th Century. Oxford University Press, 1959. The Art of the Northeast Frontier of India, Volume 1. Pub, Northeast Frontier Agency, 1959. The Fisher Girl and the Crab A Philosophy for NIFA. S. Roy on behalf of the Northeast Frontier Agency, NIFA, 1960. A New Deal for Tribal India. Abridgment of the Tenth Report of the Commissioner for Scheduled Castes and Scheduled Tribes for the year 1960-61. Ministry of Home Affairs, 1963. When the World Was Young, Folk Tales from India's Hills and Forests. Publication DIV, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, GOVT, of India, 1961. The Tribal World of Verrier Elwin, an Autobiography. Oxford University Press, 1964. Religious and Cultural Aspects of Khadi. Sarvadaya Pracharalaya, 1964. Democracy in Nifa. Northeast Frontier Agency, 1965. Folk Paintings of India. International Cultural Centre, 1967. The Kingdom of the Young, Oxford University Press, 1968. The Nagas in the Nineteenth Century. Oxford University Press, 1969. A New Book of Tribal Fiction. Northeast Frontier Agency, 1970. Folk Tales of Mahakashal. Arno Press, 1980. The Baiga. Gion Pub. House, 1986. Leaves from the Jungle, Life in a Gond Village. Oxford University Press, 1992. Verrier Elwin, Philanthropologist, Selected Writings, ed. Nari Rustam G. Northeastern Hill Univ. Publications, Oxford University Press, 2002, ISBN 0-19-565801-9. Topic further reading Anthropology and Archaeology, Essays in Commemoration of Verrier Elwin, 1902-64. Ed. Mahesh Chandra Pradhan. Oxford University Press, 1969. An Evaluative Study of Verrier Elwin, Folklorist, by Babagrahi Misra. Indiana University, 1969. Verrier Elwin, a pioneer Indian anthropologist. Asia Pub. House, 1973. ISBN 0-210-40556-2. Verrier Elwin and India's Northeastern Borderlands, by Nari Rustamji. Northeastern Hill University Publications, 1988. Din Sevak, Verrier Elwin's Life of Service in Tribal India. Daniel O'Connor, Christian Institute for the Study of Religion and Society, Bangalore, 1993. ISBN 81-7214-069-X. Savaging the Civilized, Verrier Elwin, His Tribals in India, Ramchandra Guha. University of Chicago Press, OUP, 1999. 
Against Ecological Romanticism, Verrier Elwin and the Making of an Anti-Modern Tribal Identity, by Archana Prasad. Three Essays Collective, 2003. Verrier Elwin is remembered by his family and friends, by B. Francis Kulirani, Bibhash Dar. Anthropological Survey of India, 2003. ISBN 81-85579-80-6. Between Ethnography and Fiction, Verrier Elwin and the Tribal Question in India. Tonka Bahadur Suba, Sujit Sam, K. C. Baral eds. New Delhi, Orient Longman, 2005. ISBN 81-250-2812-9. Sharma, Suresh Khan, 2005. 1. The Northeast Frontier Agency by Verrier Elwin. Discovery of Northeast India. Middle Publications. ISBN 81-8324-036-4. See also Christoph von Fuhrer Heymendorf <laughs>